Hey guys, so I got another high yield uh, Stewart classification of the fifth metatarsal base fractures. So you need to know this one because the Jones fractures are often misdiagnosed every time everyone sees any sort of fracture lying through the base of the fifth metatarsal. Everyone has just yells out Jones fracture. Now you need to take it to the next level and be a professional and know exactly what a Jones fracture is. So Jones fractures are important because they have a high rate of non-union due to the watershed area. So type one Stewart classification goes from uh, the classification goes from distal to proximal, so type 1 is just distal to that red line there you see on my image. It's just uh, that red line is indicating the beginning of the 4th, 5th metatarsal base articulation. So type 1 is just distal to that articulation, it's extra articular. Type 2 is just proximal to the within the articulation, okay? So it's an intraarticular fracture of the 5th metatarsal base. Type 3 is even more proximal, it's the avulsion fracture of the stylate process of uh, the fifth metatarsal base where, where that perineus brevis inserts. You need to know that, okay? Type four is the comminuted interarticular fracture of the fifth metatarsal base. Uh, and type five is in specifically in children, it's an injury of the apophysis of the fifth metatarsal, okay? So to remember this, I have uh, our guy, uh, Stuart Little there, to remember the Stuart classification of uh, the fifth metatarsal base. So just remember, it goes from distal to proximal. Number one is the Jones, the high yield one just outside the articulation. Two is just inside the articulation. Three is the avulsion type fracture that that PB inserts. Four is the comminuted uh, avulsed. And then five is in children of the apophysis. Thanks guys.